That's right. Rehydrate. Rehydrate. Okay, okay that's enough, Barjo. That's... No, no, that's too much, Barjo. Well, it's been almost a year since Rayman Origins, and it was one of the best-looking side-scrollers that we've ever played. Rayman Legends isn't far away, and I don't know about you guys, but I am keen to return to the Glade of Dreams. And now Rayman is making an appearance on mobile devices in Jungle Run. Yay! But does the limbless wonder have what it takes to make the wall run, kick, leap, hover, dash onto the small screen? What I love about Rayman is it focuses on tight platforming, but it also has this beautiful art style with it as well. Yeah, it's always a worry though, isn't it, when a game gets ported onto a mobile device. We have that fear that it's going to suffer from horrible downscaling and just not be as good. Uh, affirmative. If history has taught us anything, it's that scaled down versions of big blockbuster games can end up feeling a bit... Well, a shell of their former selves. Mm. Well, I'm happy to say this is one of those exceptions because right from the start of this game you can tell that a lot of love has gone into it. Just look at this opening menu. Yes, the first thing you'll notice is that gorgeous art style from Rayman Origins. And the animations are just silky smooth and I loved seeing those characters again. It just reminds me of watching a, a fun Saturday morning cartoon. Yeah, it's easy on the eyes, isn't it? And even when you're going at breakneck speed, it still looks great. The stages themselves are more like short obstacle courses, similar to the chest chasing levels from Origins. And just like many popular mobile games today, Rayman's running is controlled automatically. He'll persistently jog to the right of the screen. All you need to focus on is tapping the screen with precise timing to pull off a number of moves that will safely navigate him to each level's goal. There are 40 well-crafted levels to unlock, and these are divided into groups of 10 that each introduce new skills. You begin by simply learning how to jump, but before long you'll learn how to run up walls, hover jump, and eventually combine these moves with attacks that'll help you bust through enemies and obstacles while avoiding bottomless pits and prickly spikes. However, reaching the end of each stage is only part of the challenge in a Rayman game. You'll be hunting down and collecting those precious glowing lums, which also mark out the most effective route through each level. Guys, I'm not usually a completist. Like, like a little big planet, I don't need to get every single sticker, but here, I had to get every single one of those little guys. Missing one was just unacceptable. Collecting all the lums then unlocks a ruby red tooth of the dead for Mr. Death, who upon receiving five new fangs will open a special bonus stage to complete. With no lums to collect in these stages, you'll just need to persist on perfecting your platforming if you plan to pass these particularly painful passages. I especially enjoyed these levels, Darren. It's been far too long since I've really sweated over a tough platformer. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, the learning curve here is almost perfect. Each stage presents slightly trickier obstacles and enemies, along with useful elements like swing vines and bounce pads. It's the sort of game that after only a few minutes of play, you'll find yourself swinging, bouncing, and flipping through levels like a pro. Well guys, this is the perfect pick up and play game and it is just so beautiful. Like we keep saying, I was drooling on my touchpad, which I don't recommend because then it gets quite hard to Ooh. touch the touchpad. I'm giving this 9 out of 10 rubber chickens. Yes, it's easily one of the best looking non-3D mobile games around and the simple controls just perfectly complement that fun bouncy style we love about Rayman. So I'm giving it 9 as well.